Now here at home, local sheriff's departments have told T CBS 12 News they're on high alert as well and prepared to respond to anything that could happen, especially as we get closer to Election Day. CBS 12 News Amber Robb joins us now from Mar-a-Lago with more. From here in Palm Beach County to the Treasure Coast, authorities are not taking any chances. They tell me they're doing everything they can to make sure everyone is safe, especially with the former president living in our backyard. We're prepared to handle anything with our community. Sheriffs all the way up the Treasure Coast to Palm Beach County say they're on high alert after Saturday's assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Take a look at what happened. Oh. The horrifying moments after the bullets rang out, shocking and scaring the nation. There, hold, hold, when you're ready, on you. Ready, move, up, go, move. Go, go. It's, you're scared, you know, just to be honest, you're scared just to be out in the public to support uh, your, 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 you know, candidate. I was devastated, horrified. Um, I, I really, I was just crying. It was just so heartbreaking to me. And our area sheriff's departments are reacting. Well, we were in contact with the Secret Service minutes after it happened. We wanted to know if he was coming back here or not because we were going to take extra security measures. Some departments are even ramping up efforts. We're adding additional bomb dogs. We're adding additional gun dogs. Um, things that, you know, we're, we're constantly looking at how can we improve the safety. And others working to reassure the public. You know, we, we, we train every single, every single deputy is trained to respond to any threat that presents itself. So whether you're the president of the United States or you're just our average citizen in the county, we're going to protect you just the same. The big message for the public, if you see something, say something. If you are aware of an individual in your own home or a neighbor or someone you know who's just not behaving in a normal capacity, bring it to the attention of local or state or federal law enforcement because that could be the difference between life and death in our world we live in. At this moment, we have not heard when the former president will return home here to Mar-a-Lago, but we do know he's heading to the Republican National Convention that starts tomorrow. But all of our law enforcement agencies want people to know that they are keeping an eye out and are prepared for anything that may come our way during this election season. Reporting in Palm Beach, I'm Amber Robb, CBS 12 News.